Carden and I wanted to talk to you today a bit about the kind of objections that people have to coming and getting complementary therapy treatment or doing courses or workshops. The problem we have in the UK is that people have grown very used to having free healthcare and this means that they are reluctant to actually take responsibility for their own health and put their money towards taking care of their own health. In other countries I think this isn't seen so often because people are used to paying for health care. And it's also a question about how valuable is your health. And a lot of us actually don't value our health at all. Um, we take care of lots of other things before we take care of our health. But you have to remember Who's going to look after your family if you're ill? Surely it's up to you to make sure that you're fit and healthy so that you can take care of everybody else. And how are you going to pay the bills if you can't work because you're unwell? This is something that people tend not to think about. And surely it's better to um, prevent yourself getting ill, to make sure that you're fit, healthy, your body's balanced, rather than just lurching from crisis to crisis when you do actually get ill. So obviously one of the main objections that people have is money. They would rather go and see their doctor for free than come and pay for some kind of complementary therapy. But there are many conditions, a lot of which are stress related, for which your GP can do very little other than give you um, antidepressants or sleeping tablets um, many of which are very strong pharmaceutical drugs. And if you don't want to go along that route, um, you go and see your GP, that's what they offer you, but you don't want to take them, which is entirely up to you, what can you then do to alleviate the problems you're having? Feeling anxious, feeling stressed, uh, unable to sleep properly, really not able to enjoy your life at all. There are many, many different kinds of complementary therapies and they don't all work for everybody. That's why you need to find something that works for you. And it may be a bit of a trial and error to do that. Uh, but many people all over the world do find that they're able to find a therapy that really does alleviate their symptoms, help with their problems. And a lot of these therapies you need to do on a regular basis. A one-off treatment isn't enough. You need to have a course of treatment. And you may need to have, if you like, a top-up treatment every couple of months or so to make sure that your body stays balanced. And of course, it's not just about our physical body. It's also about our emotional health and our mental health. And those all need to be balanced for our body to be working properly. Other people tell me they don't have the time to come and see me for six or eight weeks. But again, if you become ill and you can't work, you can't take care of your family, you're not going to be able to do anything. Surely it's better to take care of the way you're feeling, try to balance yourself and prevent yourself actually getting into a worse state than you feel at the moment. So if you're interested in finding out more about what I can do to help you with the way you're feeling now, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button, which I think is probably up there. There are quite a few videos on there covering various topics. You can also go over to my website, which is www.louisecarden.com. On there I've got quite a lot of information about the different tools that I offer to help with the stresses and strains of your life. And on all the pages, there's a little sign-up box. If you pop your name and your email in there, I will send you my top 10 tranquility tips. And I will also send you some newsletters, updates, tips, information about upcoming events um, that you may be interested in. You can also find me on Facebook um, under Tranquility Now or Keston Natural Health Practice, and I'll pop those links into the box below as well.